Okay, so now I'm doing my next test video. I did a couple of still shots. <clears throat> I figured out if you hit the mode button, I think it's the first thing it goes into. It. I didn't know what that screen was, but it's for uh, <clears throat> taking still shots. <clears throat> so I took a couple, <clears throat> and I saw one of them. When you go back through the mode, it adds another spot, and it's that last still shot you took. So... Um, now I'm on, uh, well, in the, uh, like, manual, it says it's 2.7K, I think. And there it's called, I think, QHD or something. Uh, doesn't tell you what actual resolution it is, which is really aggravating to try to remember that. But, uh, <clears throat> and a lot, every time, there's about four different color settings. And the standard is just so white and washed out looking. But, uh there's one called vivid that seems to look okay on the preview when you do it but then the next time i go back in there i thought well let's uh, i better go check my colors because i notice that every time i go in there it's setting on um the standard so i'm not sure if it's actually taking uh you know and state saving on the uh in the vivid or else it is but then when you go back to the menu it goes to the default and when you turn it off and turn it back on, and you go back in the menu, it's always on default. So if I've had it on the Vivid, then it's not doing what I want. And the other two, one's kind of yellow and one's black and white. So there's not much color changing to do. I could, only other thing I could do is just darken it a little. And I think I looked at it and it looked too dark. The first step down, like if it's on zero, if you don't make a negative one, then it looked too dark. I mean, I guess I'll have to try a video with that because you don't know for sure until you actually do a video. You can't, you know, just go by your little preview screen. It's do. I mean, in here inside the house with it not, you know, washed out by any light or anything, it, it, it seems to be working pretty well, but it's not going to be just what you see in the video. But starting to stop in the video is good. Um, yeah, I didn't, I don't think I ever did the zooming. I meant to do that on the 4K. That works, because the way, I, the way I have the camera set, you can do but just a tiny little bit. You start just cutting my head off. I wanted to see how, uh, if it looked grainy or not, zoomed in. <clears throat> but um, it's going to look grainy, but how grainy is what I was wanting to know. Okay, I'm going to stop this one and go, uh, I started at 4K, and then I did it the next one down. Now I'll go to the next one. Uh, I think this one may be actually the 1080p at 60 frames per second. I didn't move my, I don't know how much I moved my hands, but let's see if that looks any smoother than, than 4K, and then I'll compare it to the next one down. Okay. <clears throat> 